Hey everyone, it's Les, and this is Comfortable Shoes Studio. In this episode of Art Making, I'm carving erasers to make rubber stamps. Um, for the longest time, I've wanted to create a rubber stamp set of my own lettering. So this is an alphabet set of stamps. I'm doing the complete alphabet. Uh, uppercase and lowercase on pink erasers. So these are Dollar Tree erasers, which are really soft and squishy and rubbery. Um, you get a six pack for $1.25. To complete a set for the alphabet, you're gonna need five packages. Um, you won't use all of them, but you'll use most of them. You'll dip into that fifth package. Um, so uh, what I just did was I took the eraser and a pencil, just a regular number two pencil, and I outlined it, uh, just traced it onto a sheet of paper. And then I'm going to um, draw out each letter. I did this for the whole alphabet. So just I'm just using some scrap paper that I pulled out of a sketchbook. So I'm doing an upper and lower case for each letter here. And it's again, it's just regular number two pencil. Um, then I'm going to take each letter and I'm going to cut it out of the larger sheet of paper into little individual sheets. And yeah, there we go. Um, I'm using a speedball knife. Uh, so this is a carving tool. It is a relatively inexpensive tool. You can get a complete set of these with uh, blades for I think around $12, $15. It's not that expensive. Um, you can get a handle on its own for pretty cheap and then just buy the individual knives. Um, I always start these by outlining. Um, I do everything in one direction, turn the uh, eraser and then um, um, carve with a different. So I'm, I start with a number one V gouge, then I move to a number two V gouge, which is a good couple of sizes for small erasers. If you're going to do um, like a carving rubber that's larger or if you get some of the extra large big erasers for big mistakes on Amazon um, or some of the like kids erasers that are big, um, you can use larger knives for sure. So mostly I am using, like I said, the number one. Um, I do the outline first and then I go back with the number two and get in there and do the majority of the removal of the eraser. Now, I did both sides of these erasers. I did the uppercase letter on one side, then the lowercase version on the other side. If I did this over again, I would just buy 10 packages of erasers and skip doing it double-sided. Um, they print well. You'll see on the uh, at the end of this video, I do print the entire alphabet. Um, they print fine, but I think they would print better if I only did them single sided. Um, yeah, I just I really didn't like how they smushed around. Um, the eraser plastic gets really thin in some areas and you it's harder to get a good um, a, a good print. So it would have been easier to print if I just used the whole eraser. Now, I I did keep the plastic trays for each um, for each package, and those just fit inside that little box. So to transfer the uh, letter, I press it onto the eraser, and then I'm just using a bone folder to give a little bit of pressure. You can really, with this pink eraser material and pencil, uh, if you use a nice soft pencil, don't use a really hard number two pencil, um, I with kids I use a number uh, 2B pencil because it's really soft and they don't have to use much pressure to get that transfer um, but a number 2 pencil works just fine um, I was using some no-name brand pencil when I was doing it um, all right so I'm cleaning up the Z here uh, you see I've got a giant pile of shavings I assume that you probably wouldn't want to uh, see the entire carving so just going through that transfer method again and then again using the number one blade to carve out the outline and getting into those corners of the Z 
Um, on these double-sided um, erasers, I do flip them and I do both sides. Uh, I didn't do a very good job at getting it staying on camera here. Um, my camera twisted a little bit and pointed not quite where I usually have it, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, so, uh, and then uh, you'll see that I'm carving towards myself, which is something I tell the kids to absolutely never ever do. With pink erasers though, you're not, you're using so little pressure uh, to carve that it's unlikely you're gonna slip. Um, I also keep my blades very sharp. Um, uh, a sharp knife is a safe knife. A dull knife is a dangerous knife. Um, you're just more likely to slip if your knife is dull. But um, when carving erasers, I've not yet, knock on wood, cut myself. Um, carving linoleum and wood and MDF and all of that stuff, I have. Um, so here I'm using an, uh, a regular pair of scissors to, to trim the eraser. So once you get things carved down, to a good size um, and as long as there's nowhere that it overlaps um, you can trim the pink eraser with scissors uh, it works really really well um, yeah so here we go um, printing them off i am using um i don't even um it's a ranger stamp pad uh, and then i've got a uh, baby wipe um, in a little plastic container. Uh, I use the same baby wipe. You'll see it in upcoming videos. I use the same baby wipe to clean my fingers off um, for until it has no more moisture left in it. Um, I just use it until there's nothing there. I also keep uh, a rag to dry my fingers off. Um, should probably use something reusable instead of a disposable baby wipe. But the, um, whatever it is in the baby wipe, um, really cleans the ink off these rubber stamps really, really well. So you can see this is just a really simple, you know, rubber stamp set. Um, like I said, I've always wanted to carve one of these and for whatever reason, never went and bought the erasers to do it. And I was in Dollar Tree buying, um, some clamps and stuff for work and saw the erasers and was like it's time it is time that i i make this happen so yeah super happy at having this um i had a lot of fun with um making the rubber stamps i think this is one of those things that it's an easy project and it can really add a lot of personalization to your art journal instead of using pre-made rubber stamps um you can also, if you're using the number one blade, once you practice a little bit, you can get pretty small. Um, I didn't record it and I regret not recording it. I also made a set of numbers um, for dating my artwork. Cause I, in my art journal, I do date things. Um, you know, so I made a year stamp that is the size of one of these erasers. And then I went ahead and I made coordinating numbers that match the size of the year stamp. So I got four numbers out of each rubber stamp. So they're quite a bit smaller than this. There's a, a well, they're literally a quarter of the size of these letters. Um, so you can get pretty small with it. Um, you know, if you practice a little bit, uh, you know, you, you can get pretty small. Uh, there are a whole swath of uh, artists on Instagram that are doing pink eraser art. Um, I would maybe not use, or if I'm going to use these, um, the Dollar Tree erasers, know that they're just softer than like the Pink Pearls and other brands of erasers. Um, these are pretty soft and squishy they hold the detail well enough but not as well as a pink pearl i've got some pink pearl erasers that i've carved that have held up really wonderfully over time um and just look fantastic and still print really well uh these i, I don't know how they're gonna hold up um you know it it does take a while to carve them the last i think it was uh, S through Z 
took me over an hour to carve, um, you know, with cleanup and everything, searching for materials here at home. Um, so it does take a minute to carve them, but it's, in my opinion, well worth the effort. Um, you know, they look great. They print really well. You can also make little images. You don't have to do a letter set. Uh, like I said, if you go over to Instagram and you look for pink eraser art or pink eraser printing, you're going to find a whole swath of people who do this. Cactus Cloud Art, um, she did a 100-day challenge where every day for 100 days she, pr she carved and printed uh, a pink eraser. And I just think that's a great project. Um, it's great for creativity to kind of stretch yourself. And also you end up with a hundred little images at the end of it. So um, one thing to be aware of, though, I think, is to buy all of your erasers at the start. So, you know, go to Dollar Tree or, you know, Staples or wherever. And if you're going to do an alphabet, I would say buy all 26 erasers at the same time because you can have a huge difference in eraser size if um you know if you buy them at different different times um i found at dollar tree that the erasers can really range in size uh, i got a couple of different versions of the erasers i got they have a rainbow package which is really cool but the erasers are significantly smaller than the pink erasers so um, just be aware of that um, also the pink pearls can range in size depending on where you buy them from and what package you get um, Cactus Cloud Art did explore that on their Instagram. So anyway, I hope um, you carve some erasers and use them in your art journal. It's a great creative tool. Uh, thank you for being here. I really appreciate all the support, the likes and whatnot. Um, thumbs up and comments. And with that, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.